Hello and welcome back my friends. Today I come to you with a, a new project and this project is uh, actually from the Patchy Planet and the, in our Patchy Planet that we visited yesterday we found the, the scenario like what we have seen now uh, on the screen. You can see in the middle of the, uh, the tank which is uh, bordered with uh, blue borders here you can see this is a tank okay and we have that mixer so the scenario is and this is two bumps and this is a flowmeter so the liquid we fill the tank here coming from this pipe and the other liquid coming from this pipe through these pumps so the pumps will fill the tank through these pipes with two different liquid and then I expect to run the mixer for a while and after that while the mix will be ready to discharge through this pipe and by using this pump we have here this is the motor and we have here the mixer and we have here a screen to showing the uh, level I think of the tank I speculate we're going through the uh, the requirement and see uh, what's what is here and also this is uh, some inputs some outputs and uh, this is a temperature uh, thermostat and also we have for each bump the connected output and we have also for each pipe a flow meter showing the flow and here is a proximity switches this one and this one and we'll see the roll and turn of each one here's the switches okay because I have only one counter so I want to see the different values here so I can switch from A to B to C to see the different value for three different devices and this is a status of the operation like run idle and idle meaning there is no operation running and full meaning the tank is full and for sure start stop this is all what we have today so let's go to the scenario and see what is the requirement and you can expect like going to see this scenario it's such thing like we meet the client and the client will tell us what's needed from us to do okay let's go and meet the scenario so go into the uh, project site and our project is the uh, patch mixer here it is and as usual you can see the project is divided into one two three bars so let's go with the three bars and read through together like this is the message left by the uh, client telling us what is the requirement or what's our mission in this exercise or in this part so here as you can see from simulation menu you can uh, see this screen you can see here using your knowledge of BLC counter so guys please if uh, if you already make sure you remember everything I told you regarding the counter it's okay proceed otherwise you can pause the project and go to the uh, counter a session and go through the counter to remind yourself and come back to continue so based on the knowledge we have got together for the BLC counter design the program to meet the following requirement number one when the start button which is connected to input I10 is pressed bump B1 this bump B1 which is connected to Q201 will be on and the tank starts to uh, be uh, to fill and also a pulses these pulses generated by the flow meter which is in here connected to i15 okay to increment the counter once the counter reaching to the uh, 90 percent that means it's full so we need to uh, highlight, highlight the uh, full indicator this one the third one okay and requirement number three the filling operation 
uh, for sure uh, since we're starting filling so the filling will uh, will be uh, will be on and since uh, we reach to full so the filling operation will be halt meaning the bump will be stopped okay uh, and also the operation will be stopped anytime we click stop uh, what else uh, while testing uh, utilize the reset oh you can use the uh, reset buttons for timer and counter or for simulator to reset the value in your project also it gives us here a one hint like we can using this displays to show the counter uh, value let's go and check our uh, process so first of all we need to go into the uh, running uh, adding one rank i'm sorry to programming mode and adding one rank and then i'm saying like uh, i will start a button so this is, is our start and this is uh, our stop okay and this is uh, our pump like this one oh will be on so i take this output like this and for sure i need a latch here so a barrel branch i think now you're expert more than me in this thing so this is the uh, latching so it will be continue filling uh, very simply with this is uh, a regular rung we uh, we are doing this uh, this in every project and and we'll stop when we're reaching to somewhere so let's try first uh, to see uh, the uh, operation visually so here if i start the start button like this oh it is continue stop stop okay so continue stop continue stop okay so we'll stop at uh, somewhere using this uh, this uh, photometers so i just like uh, wanted to continue and you will see the overflow will happen if you're not uh, doing something see so the flow come into here and uh, it will be damaged every equipment you have like you can see in the screen so we need to uh, make sure everything is uh, working correctly so stop up to this point to see uh, and also we can uh, con continue to see when this one will be energized and this one is be energized so see now this one will be energized and then okay and this one be uh, be for high level okay that's good so we have two level here one level for the low level with this proximity switch and this for the uh, uh, low level so clean and stop so let's see we need uh, to stop where we need to stop we need to stop when we're reaching to uh, this value this is the requirement of the first uh, one so adding uh, another one rung okay so this is will be my first rung and in my second rung i will like uh, like i will like uh, having this one the flowmeter so this flowmeter showing the uh, uh, pulses for the filling and also uh, i need uh, one counter so going to the counter i need a count up i will have this one like uh, c5 one okay this is my counter and they set at uh, at like uh, uh, 90 90 percent i don't know the count what it is the count so let's check the count here to see how it is counting so go into this one and start so now you can see okay now uh, we need to reset everything first need to reset everything like i need to reset so to reset here i need to uh, reset simulation and reset timer counter yes and reset clear all data fine okay so now if i start the process from beginning like this <coughs> and start to see this one now 
this accumulator okay so I need to, to figure out I need to figure out the value okay okay so I need to figure out the value of the counter to see the 90% what it is so what I have done here to to see the uh, the hundred percent I fill the tank uh, until the end to see uh, the value of the counter like 316 uh, and uh, and the by reaching to 316 so this is a hundred percent so I will just here uh, using uh, some simple math instruction to calculate the uh, 90 percent of this one because like uh, 90 percent 90 90 percent okay uh, of the 300 let's see it is 300 only so when it reaching to 270 so I just like here compare instruction uh, greater than or equal and I will say here the source is a uh, c51 dot ACC the accumulator if the accumulator is uh, greater than 270 so or equal greater than or equal uh, 270 reaching to I mean reaching to the 90% uh, so I gonna stop this one so I will <clears throat> just here just here will uh, stop uh, stop I will stop here by B3 uh, 0, 0 this bit and I will take this this bit I will say this bit is the 90% uh, or it will be 90% and fall also. Uh, I will say here for naming everything like this one is a stop, stop switch, and this one is a uh, start switch, and this one is uh, the uh, uh, bump, which is uh, B1, okay. And this one is uh, the, uh, for sure, this is the uh, flowmeter, uh, flowmeter F1, okay. So flowmeter F1, count up, make the counter, and then this is for fall. So I will take this fall to stop running this guy. So I will using this switch to stop at 90%. So let's see if that's correct or not. So moving here to download and running and for sure you can see the full button here but let's again uh, reset uh, our everything here to reset the simulation reset counter and and everything and the and and then restart our program like this to see if the logic is okay or not so filling now started and we'll see if it will stop at 90 percent or not exactly at nine percent you can see the filling stop and this is a requirement we need from the first part and uh, and now uh, we just need to uh, highlight this lamp for showing this is uh, this is uh, in full status which is very easy here so this fall i just uh, reaching to this one so uh, by adding uh, we can adding a parallel uh, part here So that guy will be here, and also I can take this output for sure. I can make it like here, like this, and take this output right there. 20 kids of the status is now is on. So here, last thing to download. Okay, check, and you can see the full status is now on. So thank you guys, and this is uh, the uh, first exercise. Uh, and let's say uh, our the first part of this great project so next time we're gonna uh, continue with the next part see you soon and have a good day bye bye